Uh, I have several projects in the hacking class where students have to boot a virtual machine from a virtual CD. And that process can be frustrating because you have to modify the BIOS and the virtual machine by default boots too quickly to give you access to the BIOS. So you have to first power up your Windows machine and power it off normally from inside Windows with the start button, start, shut down, and wait for that to finish. Then you need to find where the VM lives on your hard drive. Um, if you have a Mac like I do, you can right or you can control click your virtual machine and click show in finder to find your machine. If you're on a PC, you have to go into VM settings and on the second tab to find a path to find out where your virtual machine lives. On Macs, it looks like it's all a single file, but it's not. You have to control click and show package contents to reveal the fact that it's actually a folder full of files. And the one file that contains your virtual machine settings is this VMX file with the extension ending in VMX. You have to open this with a plain text editor. Um, unfortunately, there is not a plain text editor that is convenient available in the Mac. All you have is this thing called text edit, which is really like Microsoft Word. It is possible to do this work in here, but it is not easy, as you're going to see. I'm going to make the font bigger. What you have to do is add a line here that says bios.bootdelay equals some number of thousands. Perhaps 10,000 would be good. That would give me 10 seconds. The problem is, as I was saying, this text editor is not worth much. Notice that these quotation marks are bent over. This is turning them into beautiful quotation marks that might look good when printed, but they will not work for Linux configuration files. The simple solution is to copy and paste in the right kind of quotation marks. It is possible to go find the settings for this program text edit and adjust it to be a little bit more friendly. I found it so frustrating I just paid for a third-party text editor called Smoltron. But anyway, now I've finally made this one line correct. Save the file. And now, when you start up your virtual machine, it will pause for 10 seconds, giving you enough time to click in here and press F2 to get into the BIOS or press Escape to get into the boot menu. And now you can adjust these so that your virtual machine will boot from the uh, um, CD-ROM first. And that's what I wanted to show you.